Hello everyone, you are welcome on learning with L&R and today I would like to talk with you regarding concept of health and this topic belongs to nursing foundations for BSc nursing first year. First of all, the introduction, the state of one's health is reflective of an individual's ability to meet life challenges and maintain his or her capacity for optimal functioning. Means what? All the challenges related to the life, the person can handle then we call the person healthy this requires the various aspects of one's makeup that is mental physical and biochemical the person should be mentally physically healthy and uh, the composition in the blood should be on good on standard level to maintain a level of functioning that has a positive influence and a support for one another first of all the concept of health Health is a common theme in most cultures. Everyone think about the health in the same way in every culture. All communities have their concept of health as a part of their culture. What is the definition of health in all communities is absence of disease. In earlier time, the poor people called the person healthy when he or she prevent from any kind of disease. There are four kind of concepts related to good health, biochemical, ecological, psychosocial and holistic <coughs> concept. First one, biochemical concept, what is that? Traditionally, health has been viewed as an absence of disease as we discussed earlier and if one was free from disease then the person was considered healthy, that is biochemical concept i hope you have clear with this by Bio, under biochemical concept when the person free from disease then we called the person fit on biomedical level next ecological concept health implies relative absence of pain and discomfort and a continuous adaptation to the environment to ensure optimal functioning because every day life change that change is easily adopted by the person right this viewed health as a dynamic equilibrium between man and his environment right psychosocial concept developments in the field of social sciences revealed that health is not only a biochem biomedical phenomenon but one which is influenced by social psycho psychological culture economic and political factors of people concerned that is called psychosocial concept means the person mentally healthy but the environment in the society also conducive holistic concept holistic means everything included in this synthesis of all the above concepts recognizes strength of social economic political and environmental influences on health Right. This approach implies that all sectors of society have an effect on health, in particular animal food industry, education, housing, public society, other sectors. These are included in holistic concept means when the everything going on the right way then we called there is a holistic concept. Definition of health. The word health was derived from the Old English word health, which meant a state of being sound and was generally used to infer a soundness of the body. Health is the absence of disease. Health is the level of functional and metabolic efficiency of a living, living being. In humans, it is the general condition of a person in mind, body and spirit, usually meaning to being free from illness, injury or pain. When the person free from injury, illness or pain, that time we called the healthy person. According to WHO, the health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. That is the standard definition. You have to read or memorize this as it is. There are various dimensions related to health, physical, mental and social well-being, 
non medical dimensions can be included are spiritual emotional vocational and political first of all we would like to discuss about the physical health it implies perfect functioning of the body means the person physically fit energetic has good posture weight normal weight for age and height according to the age and height has all body organs functioning normally has bright eyes has good textured and shining hair that sound sleep has a good appetite appetite means the hunger according to the need the normal hunger will be there has a clean breath okay a person is physically healthy if he or she looks alert and responsive the person aware about the time place and person mental health mental health is not mere absence of mental illness a mentally healthy person is one who is free from internal conflicts or the person are just according to the environment that is mentally healthy control on emotions the person do not uh, anger without any reason or the other emotions will be under the control of the person sensitive to the needs of others confidence in one's own abilities a person is mentally healthy if he or she is relaxed and free from any worries then social well being it implies harmony and integration within the individual between each individual and other members of the society and between individuals and the world in which they live first of all the person are adjustable in the family then in the class then in the college then in the city then in the world has pleasant manners fulfills responsibility towards other helps others gets along well with people around a person is socially healthy if he or she can move in the society confidently with others okay that is the social well being of the person then spiritual a person is said to be spiritually healthy when he possesses sound mind in a sound body something transcends physiology and psychology then emotional a person is said to be emotionally healthy when he does not lose temper or does not develop tension and should have self control they can modify according to the situation vocational capable of earning sufficiently to lead the life successfully they can do the work to for for the living right then positive health a person who is healthy physically mentally and socially and spiritually is said to be in a state of positive health that is highest standards of health then there are concepts of well being there are two components objective and subjective under the objective there is a standard of living and level of living and under the subjective quality of life under the standard of living scale of our expenditure regarding uh, how much how much money we expend then goods we consume services we enjoy level of education employment status food dress house amusements and comforts of modern living that is comes under standard of standard of living then income and occupation standard of housing sanitation and nutrition the level of provision of health educational recreational and other services may all be used individually as measures of socio economic status and collectively as an index of the standard of living this definition for standard of living and it is given by world health organization then the level of living what comes under level of living health food consumption education occupation and working condition housing social security regarding we secure economically secure we uh, living in a uh, living in a secure area then clothing and human rights quality of life according to who 
according to World Health Organization, the condition of life resulting from combination of the effects of the complete range of factors such as those determining health, happiness, education, social and intellectual attainments, freedom of action, justice and freedom of expression. We can call the quality life is qual quality of life when person have everything. They have good health. They are, the person happy in their life. They have good education. They they are secure in the society and adjustable in the society. Then the the person is intelligent. Then they can freely do any action. They love to justice and freedom to express their feeling. Then determinants. What does it mean? The factors which determine the health of an individual are many. Some are inside the body, that is called genetic, which we carry from the family. And some are outside the body, that is environmental factor. For example, the genetic factor you can carry from your parents and environmental factor you can learn from the environment that is environmental factor under the genetic the health of the human being is to some extent is determined by genetic constitutional that take place at the time of consumption okay once the constitution of genes take place it's permanent and cannot be altered once the person get the gene from the parents they are for life then environmental. Internal environment is constituted by various organs and systems of the body. Then the external environment is made up of physical, biological and social. Under the physical there is air, soil and water and under biological plants, animals and social culture, beliefs and tradition. Any di disturbance either in the internal or internal environment disturbs the health of the individuals. Then lifestyle, socioeconomic conditions, education, occupation, income and health services. Other factors affecting health, personal hygiene, if the person maintain their hygiene, they, their health will be okay. Then exercise is good for physical health, rest and sleep also good for health posture, good posture, clean home environment, then influence of smoking, alcohol and drugs. If the person free from these conditions, these, these things, then uh, their health is good. Climate and clothing, then safety measures at play and work, our eating habits also affect on the health. I hope you have clear with this topic. Thank you for your attention.